Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. Gato Russe or Russian cake is my husband's absolute favorite cake and I make it almost every year for his birthday. It's so so good. Might not be the easiest cake to make but it's so so worth the effort. If you love praline or hazelnuts and almonds you're gonna absolutely love this cake. You're gonna start of course by toasting a mix of hazelnuts and almonds. I used my Bravel oven and I just toasted for 6 minutes and it turned out perfect. I can smell the almonds and the hazelnuts. The shells are coming off really easily. I use a towel to rub off the excess hazelnut shells. I set aside and I work on the next step. You're gonna separate 5 egg whites. You're gonna save the egg yolks for later. And I'm using extra large eggs. The egg is about 70 to 80 grams, so really large eggs. And your eggs should be at room temperature. You'll have a better volume. You can add a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And you're gonna start adding 3 tablespoons of sugar gradually. Ultimately, you're looking for stiff peaks, just like so. I'm gonna stop right there, set aside and work on the dry ingredients. In the food processor, I'm gonna add 3 tablespoons of cake flour, 4 ounces of almond flour and 4 ounces of powdered sugar. You're gonna mix them in with the egg whites after you process them a little bit to make them just a touch finer. Mix them in with the egg whites. Fold gently, just like so. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Frangelico, which is a hazelnut flavored liqueur. Spread on a lightly greased parchment paper. You want it about almost one centimeter in thickness or half an inch. Spread as even as possible. You're gonna bake in the oven at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes or until set. Now I'm gonna work on the buttercream. Two thirds cup of sugar, three tablespoons of water. I let them boil. You wanna cook the sugar until the temperature, you need to use a candy thermometer. The temperature should be between 240 and 244 degrees Fahrenheit. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna start whipping the egg yolks that I saved earlier. I add about half a tablespoon of vanilla bean paste just for the flavor. And now I'm gonna start drizzling the sugar syrup, it's reached soft ball, which is 240 to 244 degrees Fahrenheit. For some reason, I missed the sugar syrup drizzle, but this is how it's gonna look like. It's gonna lighten in color and will double in volume. The bowl is a little warm. I make sure it's a little cooler before I start adding the butter. You can wrap it with a cold towel or you can just wait a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the butter. And the butter is not too soft and it's not too cold. It's almost room temperature. I start adding one tablespoon at a time. Even if it starts to become soupy, you don't need to panic. Keep on mixing on high and adding the butter slowly. You're gonna add the whole thing, 226 grams of butter. So it's looking soupy now, half the way through adding the butter. But keep on mixing on high like I said and it's gonna thicken as you go. See how it's thickened? quite a bit. Beautiful, smooth and delicious buttercream. I've moved it to a different bowl. 
Now I work on the praline, the sugar hazelnut almond mixture. Here I have half a cup of granulated sugar. I added one teaspoon of water just to get it going. Added the toasted almonds and hazelnuts. I'm gonna keep on mixing and cook the sugar until it caramelizes. I want it to get it to this point. And at this point I add about 7 grams of butter just to soften things a little bit. I place on a parchment paper, let it cool completely. And now I work on the last component for the filling and this is Italian meringue. And this is just 3 egg whites. I add the sugar syrup. Same process I did with the buttercream. This is 3 egg whites. And I just cooked a quarter cup of sugar with 2 tablespoons of water until the temperature reached about 244 degrees Fahrenheit. I drizzle slowly on top of the egg whites until they become glossy and amazingly tasty. The praline is ready and it's cool to the touch. It's hardened nicely. I'm gonna break a piece or two for decoration and process the rest finely. I'm trying to explain everything as good and as fast as I can. But for the full recipe, look in the description box below. I have the ingredients and the method listed, so check it out. Now I'm gonna mix the hazelnut mixture with the buttercream, fold it in gently, get it incorporated very well. And now mix with the Italian meringue, fold it in, and after all this work, the filling is ready. Now the cake shell cooked in the oven for about 15 minutes. When it's set, I removed, let it cool completely, and now I'm gonna cut into four pieces. We're gonna make almost a rectangle. So this way and cut across the other way. Start layering one layer of the cake biscuit, which is really a soft cake. One layer of the buttercream. Smooth it out, add another layer. You really want to end up with four layers and don't worry if it's not even. You're gonna refrigerate and worry about it later. You're gonna refrigerate for a couple of hours at least. But really it's best to leave this cake overnight in the fridge. The flavors become much much nicer. I'm working on a chocolate decoration. I just melted some chocolate. I'm gonna cut some stripes, let it set. And now, 24 hours later, the cake is cold enough. I'm gonna cut some clean cuts, make it look pretty, decorate with the chocolate stripes. I'm not gonna leave like this. I'm gonna cut it to size. This is how it's gonna look like. Somebody's gonna be really, really happy about this cake. It's a nice surprise and it tastes so amazing, so rich and decadent and so good. Maybe you can give it a try too. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And until next time, bon appétit!